country persists. Ruby's Energy CEO Jean Christian Bagheron has been deported after the government established that the oil company has been holding the commodity. And as Elizabeth Atieno now reports, there have been smuggling allegations at the Isibania border in Migori County. Have a look. In what was described as a crackdown on oil companies that have been holding the precious commodity, the government's whip today fell on Ruby's chief executive officer, Jan Christian Bergeron, who has been deported from the country. Ruby's energy is believed to be one of the main oil companies illegally holding the commodity, a situation that has greatly affected the country's economy. Uh, Hiyo nige oba, serikali fuatilie sana. At least tuwe tuna enjoy mafuta yetu hapa Kenya. Kama huko Nigeria venye wao hufuraia mafuta yao wakichibwa. This was the situation at the industrial area depot in Nairobi. A large number of petroleum trucks have lined up at this depot for fuel that would later be delivered to different petrol stations in the country. And as the famous saying goes, every drop counts, a number of area residents desperately mounted on this truck to get at least a drop of fuel left. However, all petrol stations in this depot have no fuel, with some of the truck drivers secretly disclosing to us that there is fuel at the depot, though it is being served to specific oil companies. Further speculations have been raised that the oil companies are waiting for prices to rise before making it readily available for the local market. Just a day after the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, revealed that some oil marketers have increased their export of fuel and suppressing the local market, Border border riders at the Isebania border in Migori County have blamed fuel hawkers who have been allegedly smuggling fuel from the neighboring country of Tanzania at a cheaper price of 160 shillings and then sold to riders at 300 shillings. So, mambo na kuchukua mafuel kutoka Tanzania na wanapuja wanatuzia pa Begali. Na hata pia wakichu, wa, wa, au watu wanapuleta mafuta hapa Kenya. Wanachukua mafuta kwa beigala lafu wanaruzia kwa buyu hapa barabarani. Sasa hatu ambatu ngechukua sisi kama watu wa boda boda. Kwa mba wote wenye wamechukua mafuta kutoka kwenye filling station. Wale wachuuzi wenye wameweka vibui kandu ya barabara. Sisi kama boda boda. Tuwende tuwafuruse watu wache na fasi ili tuchukua mafuta sisi pia nukumie. With only a few hours left before the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority conducts its monthly review on fuel prices, Long queues are still being witnessed in many fuel stations across the country. Masa, nimearibu. Nazunguka hii vikaroti yote ndiyo nipate maputa mbatu na tumili kidogo nikonai. You see? Na hii maputa ilishia kwa barabara. Ndiyo nikatumana malingine kwa nduthi. Wakaniletea nikaweka. Because kukusi kwa alternative, time wasted, kila kitu. Kila kitu imesimama. Na umeona hapa kwa lane. Samoja baka sahi yuko kwa lane. Elizabeth Atieno TV 47.